Hi, I'm Mickey Knowles and I'm here today to show you how to carve a watermelon into a cake. For this you're going to need a medium to large oval or oblong watermelon. You're going to need a spigot which you can get at a beer making supply store or order online, twine and straight pins, a dry erase marker, a knife, an apple core. Here's two different styles. You only need one style but I just wanted to show you both kinds. This style has where the core goes in and it is able to push out and this is an open style and you're going to need a channel knife and a bowl and a spoon or a bowl and a scoop. For step one, you're going to wash the watermelon under cool running water and pat dry. For step two, on a cutting board, place the watermelon on its side and cut a quarter to a half an inch from both ends, being careful not to cut too deep into the white part of the rind. One side will provide a sturdy base. For step three, use a dry erase marker or painter's tape to make a thick band on the upper third and lower third of the watermelon that will represent the metal bands around the keg. Then use the channel knife to trace the outline of the metal hoops. You can also use a paring knife for this. The channel knife makes it a little bit easier. Once you're done trimming away the outline, just take a towel and wipe away any of the dry erase marker that might be there. For step four, you're going to hollow out the watermelon with a scoop or a spoon. Now that you have it nice and hollow, remember you want to make sure that you leave about two inches of watermelon towards the bottom so that you have room for your spigot. For step five, you're going to use the apple core to cut a circle for your spigot to fit through the watermelon rind, placing it about two to three inches above the bottom of the watermelon, and then screw your spigot into place. In step six, for added detail, carefully pin twine in your lines you've made to represent the metal bands around the keg. Be careful that the pins don't poke through. Now that you're finished, for step seven, you're going to place your keg on a pedestal or a plate, fill it with your favorite punch, and enjoy.